Welcome to Stormwatch 2010. This is SoCal Comics. We're staying warm, staying dry, staying tornado free since 2004. Uh, anyway, we got this week's comics with Jamie. Uh, we're staying dry, keeping entertained. Jamie, let's do this. Okay, while we dodge the uh, pers persistent roof leaks, let me start with hot number four. For some reason, this comic is losing ground, but the storyline is actually getting better, so more people ought to just stay on board. Incorruptible, the side story to Irredeemable from Boom Studios, just as entertaining. Polar opposite of the plot device in Irredeemable. This uh, current Punisher Max storyline with Kingpin is ultra violent, ultra entertaining, and it's selling extremely well. Here's an unusual story from Conan. This is written by and uh, drawn by Derek Robertson of The Boys fame. This is the first Conan story I've read in a long while with a morality tale attached to it. Very interesting, very well done. Fall of the Hulks, this is Hulk number 19. Just a smash up fighting issue. This is what the Hulk's all about. Highly recommend you pick it up. And finally, number two of the three issue series with Bernie Wrights and Steve Niles, the ghoul from IDW. This is great stuff, and they will continue this series as long as Bernie writes and continues to draw it. Feels so bad for Conan the Barbarian now that uh, Jay Leno's taking its slot over. <laughs> Topical. All right, let's take it to Danny, who will be less stupid than I am. Danny? Did he say I was going to be less stupid? Is it his first day? Um, anyway, I'm going to talk about robot comics because I love robots, and this is my segment. So I'm going to talk about robots. First of all, we have Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep, which takes the text from Dick's novel and just puts pretty pictures. You can read the whole book with pictures. It's nice, it's wonderful. It's a good book, probably. I don't know, I've only seen the movie. We have Cyberforce, which is not quite robots, but I mean, they have robotic parts. Um, none of them are pictured, I don't think. They look pretty human to me, but according to the title, they're robots. Now, if you like robot superheroes, we have a Red Tornado. Um, nobody likes the Red Tornado. I'm not sure why they made a comic about him. Iron Man, not a robot, but he looks enough like one. Quality comics. Gigantic, exactly what it says on the cover. Gigantic robots punching one another. It's amazing. Atomic Robo, I have never read, but this atomic robot, I assume, is fighting giant tentacles. I would read this, so you should too. And if you're lame, you can read a Transformers comic. This one features Bumblebee, but he looks really badass for a Lame. robot. Yeah, he looks really badass for a robot Tuna. named Bumblebee. Lame. Bumblebee. Bumblebee. Well, for the pick of the week, we can't come to a compromise. I want to do powers. I want to do girls. We're going to have to come to a compromise. Fine. Ready? Compromising. <gasps> Power Girl! Yay! We just took the S's off both words. Yeah! And boobs. Boobs, more boobs. Yeah. To be honest, this is a great book. Uh, as you can see, it's super cheesecakey, but it's written by the guys who do Jonah Hex, which is a surprise. Um, but as you can see, it's very colorful, it's very fun, it's the way comics used to be and should be. Lighthearted, there are zero tie-ins to anything going on here. It's hilarious, it's just a fun read. There are talking badgers, and right now they're eating pizza. And even when she wears a dress, it has a boob window. It's got a boob window. So she's very consistent in her style of dress. Boob which, window. Which is what you want in a superhero comic book, right? That's what I want. Me too. Have you heard it be called Superheroes, Danny? What did I say? Superheroes. Great. All right, that's it for now. We're going to go brave the tornadoes and car flippings. Are we? I, I was, was going to stay here. Oh, you should probably stay here. And I'll read, go do and that. And read comics for free. Give me the camera and I'll show you tornadoes and stuff, okay? <laughs> this will be my final adventure with you guys, so I'm Matt. And I will be taking over the entire show next week because Matt will be dead. Is that a promotion or a downgrade? Um, we'll find out next week. Da -da 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 -da. The site is called Monkey Toss TV, by the way. Also, the show is called Biff Bang Pow. <laughs>